Local transmission of Bill Saints Rod and Reel is made possible in part by grants from Faye Sporting Goods, Watertown, New York, carriers of a large selection of hunting and fishing equipment, and the Overhead Door Company of Watertown, New York, suppliers of commercial and residential doors and automatic openers. Well, hello again. As you can tell by the slob of the big engine, we're on the big version of the rod and reel today. Our quarry, King Salmon. My special fishing guest, a couple of blind fellas that won a blind tournament up in Ottawa, Ontario. The tournament sponsored each year by the Ottawa District Lions Club. They're represented today on board the rod and reel. Our hope is to get them into a big silver sights. I hope you'll stay with us for today's edition of Rod and Reel. Just get aboard the rod and reel, it's time to leave. Another adventure waits for me. Just come with us and you will see what fishing's really meant to be. Funding for this program is made possible by grants from Cotton Cordell Tackle. The name lives on. Heaven, a tradition since 1894. Rebel. Products for fishermen throughout the world. Bomber Lures, Taiwan On. Daiwa Corporation, manufacturers of rods and reels. Daiwa, committed to total quality. And Lawrence Electronics Incorporated, makers of electronic sonar. All providing underwriting support for Bill Safe's rod and reel. Yeah, that's what fishing is really meant to be. The seas were fairly calm as we left Henderson Harbor, but the weather was very overcast. It's a good day for salmon. Mike Hayes, himself visually impaired, chairs the contest for the Ottawa and Area Alliance. I had a chance to talk for a moment with Mike before we started to fish. Michael, you and uh, many of your fellow Alliance in and around the Ottawa area, you say there how many clubs in that district? Well, District 84 has about 75 Lions clubs, and about uh, 50 of them are involved in, uh, in this activity that we're... And the activity that you guys uh, sponsor, really, and run is a, is a pro bass tournament where you take a couple of blind fellas per pro competitor boat, and you get a, a bass pro who fishes tournament or circuit right. to take them out on a tournament. Yeah. And we have the two winners of that tournament on board today. That's right. And yeah. their names are... Albert Belanger and Clem Thiebaud. Albert Melange. Albert is a virgin. He's never caught a king salmon. No. And Neither you know why? Uh, no. And so is Cal. <laughs> and so are you. Yeah. And we brought along a bass pro today who fishes in the Ottawa circuit. I know that. Uh, Jimmy Hurd. Jimmy's piloting the rod and reel for us today. And uh, I've run into Jim in numerous uh, sportsman shows up in, in and around the Ottawa area in the past. So uh, when I saw Jim walking in uh, this morning, I saw a familiar face. Yeah. Well, Jim's the special events coordinator for this blind fishing tournament. It's called the Lion's Bait uh, Belt. He coordinates, he coordinates the boats for you? Yep. Gets yeah. the boats together. Yeah, he gets uh, lads from all over eastern Ontario and western Quebec to come up and donate a weekend. They use their bass boats. Uh, uh, take uh, a couple of blind or visually impaired people out. It's real good. Well, Mike and I collaborated earlier on in the spring about this and when we were going to have, they were going to have this tournament. And I said, well, I think it'd be nice if you brought the two winners down and we do a rod and reel.